alaikum my brothers and sisters in islam in northern nigeria and in the whole of nigeria today we are going to be discussing rama sado and the recent happenings of her backlash dress and the bruhaha that took place in arewa twitter and the instagram in fact those people who now started blaspheming and calling assistant allah now, without further ado, let's get straight into this conversation. Maria Habila and I'm another Nigerian lifestyle vlogger for some of you who do not know I you see my face for the first time you are welcome to this YouTube channel in fact straight into it what is people's problem in this life I don't understand why you would bash somebody like that because of your dress is that the worst dress you have seen in no let's be honest now okay is that the worst dress you have seen in your entire life is that like the worst kind of appearance you've seen a muslim girl wear like have you is that the worst appearance you have seen a muslim person wear no Arewa brothers and sisters i want to bring your attention to this our issue is beyond what ramasado wore our issues i have never if if only that we channel our energy that we use in bashing people and praising bad governance and keeping quiet and doing rank day lifestyle into talking about the ills that happen in our society the sodomy that they that happens okay if you don't know now no the almajiri boys are being abused and raped by men in the north how many times have you heard that on social media or have you seen that trend how many times have you seen them say, you know what, we want to make sure that um, the killings in casinos trend and then the government will do something about it? How many times have you seen them come out with axes and, you know, all the implements on social media to say, you know what, we're going to stop Boko Haram? How many times have you seen them come out and say, we're going to stop kidnapping and banditry, castle rustling and the rest of them? No. Is us our insecurity issues are plenty our child marriage our abuse in marriage our see plenty I cannot even begin to mention them we don't used to see, I've always said it we have misplaced priorities but the not is okay it's okay that she wore what she wore personally I don't see anything wrong with it maybe because I'm a Christian and I don't I don't give a hoot what anybody wears after all, it's the person's body. Would they come and catch me and say, Oh, why did you allow her wear that kind of clothes? What thing concerns me? Or the excuses I was hearing people give was number one, that she's a role model to a lot of people. I beg, did she ask you to become, did she write an application and say, Okay, I want you, I want to be your role model? No, she did not do that. If you see that her lifestyle doesn't reflect what you want as a young Muslim girl, young muslim boy old whatever muslim person please you change role model it's simple you will put so much body on celebrities that they'll be keeping killing themselves because as far as i'm concerned the others are pushed them into depression and thinking that the world is very wicked and when very little issues you blow out of proportions now Having said that, I want to draw your attention to those who came out to bash her on social media. What she wore, personally, I don't see anything, anything wrong with what she wore. And I'm wearing, I'm saying it with my full chest. You know why? Because most of the people who come out to say, ah, see what she wore, see what, I schooled in the north. I grew up in the north. I live in the north. And I know that our hypocrisy is like this through the roof you guys have see it's, it's, a, it's a culture thing i know we're trying to preserve our culture decency modesty and all whatnot okay 
I am not an indecent person. And today, if I decide to go backless, that is my bloody damn business, and it is none of yours. If she's your daughter, you call her, okay, my daughter, please do not wear this kind of dress. See, people can only be people. They change. If today she decides I am not a Muslim, I have decided to become a pagan, what are you going to do? Are you going to say, lie, lie, you must. It doesn't happen. You can't force your will on people. She's a Muslim and she is, as far as I'm concerned, she's a public figure and I know that her dressing can somewhat affect people. But we need to orient ourselves and unlearn and relearn some things that, you know what, when people decide to do whatever they like because they are in a certain space, let them be. If I was looking up to you before, please remove your eye. Come on, time. As I said, people are looking up to you. Somebody said, if you are looking up to me, please, when you, when you, when you, when you are tired of looking up, you look elsewhere. This girl did not ask to be your role model. Are you the one putting food on her table? No. Are you, but the way they came out all out for her, insulting her, cursing her generation, and all of that, that was, for me, that was extreme. That was uncalled for. It was unnecessary. And I strongly strongly with every sense of decency and every sense of humanity in me strongly condemn it so let me ask you one very simple question what if it wasn't just her back it was her entire books that was showing how are you gonna do what are you gonna do are you going to jump into a lagoon because rama said decided to wear a backless dress no sir no ma, that is none of your business. So for some of you who came out saying, no, Rama Sado is my friend, I like her, and all that, and kept writing open letters and publicly dragging her, you are what they call a snake. Much EG, this thing that used to work like this, that's what you are. If you want somebody to do something for you, if you want to correct somebody, is that the best way to correct? If somebody drags you on social media all in the name of correction, I don't think that's right. If you had any concerns about her dress, in fact, don't even drop it in the comments. You know, send her a DM. If you are really a concerned person, ah, assalamu alaikum, sister. I don't think this your dress appropriate and all of that. You have said your piece. And for me, nobody's going to come and hold you and say, oh, you did not say that. Oh, you said that. Mm -mm. That's not how life is. And in the north, I want us to now channel this our energy. We now know that, ah, we are plenary and we can carry ginger. Now our ginger, let us see to fight our issues, okay? The hunger, the alma, the ray on the streets, the raping, the abuse, child abuse, child marriage, all the bad, bad things that are happening in the north. We just shush them. In fact, somebody said, Arifiyamana Asiri, do you have Asiri? Do you think the world don't know that you are suffering? Do you, do you think the world doesn't know that you are one of the most... Um, uneducated set of human beings on the planet do you think the world doesn't have these statistics who are you trying to deceive personally i think it's it's high time we brace up and let the important things matter to us let us fight for good things not for rubbish if she decides today i want to walk naked what are you going to do no tell me what are you going to do Honestly, my candid opinion is not let us channel our energy to the best place. Rama said those clothes is nobody's problem. And she even kept, my, my only concern is why did she even remove the picture? It will not make it will not look like it's because of what people said. My sister, leave that picture. You have apologized for people who came out to insult um God, you know, Allah, and all of that. You have apologized because for me that was it. Me being the center of people insulting God is going to affect me. But what I wore, I'm not going to remove it. I am not going to. People decide to insult God. That is their bloody business. That is their bloody business. Because at the end of the day, everybody is going to go and collect his judgment by himself. Everybody has his reward in heaven. Please, let us channel our energy to the right direction. Now, that we have said that. For all of you who came out insulting her, I hope when tables flip, because by the time somebody drags you like that, for any damn reason, you feel it inside your bones. Okay? Please let's not do what we don't want others to do to us, because 
Kama is a biatch, Kama is gonna come for you. You people wanna make room for everybody tonight, South Arima. Ah, Boki, they are all cows. They are all these. They are, it's not most, only Muslims that we have in the north. I'm a Christian and I'm a northern and full blooded one back up front. I'm from Adama State. There's no I can remove Adama State from northern Nigeria. I am a proud northern and there's nothing you gotta do about it. And I'm going to leave my hair open because it's not a sin for me and in my religion. I am going to wear whatever I like because it doesn't concern you. Decency is relative. For all the hypocritic lifestyle that we've been living, shafte, shaf pass, that regime is over. Four leg under hijab in universities should be over. All those girls who wear hijabs and they are prostitutes should be over. All those girls who wear hijabs to the club, go and change, wear mini skirts, dance, drink, do whatever. All the people that haven't came out bashing this Ramasa, so last, last, if you go check and wear. They are the ones that will masturbate to those her pictures. They are the ones that watch pornography. If you do not know that pornography is mostly consumed in northern Nigeria, do you know that? Let me tell you now. It's our boys that they are tagged as yellow boys and have low self-control. They have no uh, self-control because when a house boy just sees you, he just begins to what? To come. Why? Because he doesn't know how to control himself. A guy learned to control himself because uh, if you go to the abroad now and you see other girls parading up and down with bikini, what are you going to do? Are you going to start buying rapper and start saying, cover yourself, cover yourself? No. Do not force your will on people. Okay, we were just talking about rapper that wore back like dress. How about our auntie Tiwa, our dear auntie? That we, now, how now we don't wear? The toe no one reach back. Now, just front. What are you going to do about it? She just gave you a dose that I can be whatever I want, however I like, and it's none of your damn business. Let us learn to mind our business and channel our attention to the things that are important and to the things that matter, especially as it concerns Northern Nigeria, because now our case bad pass. If they want to now start, okay, let's analyze states that are developed. Oh, I don't know state. I cry for you in advance. Because... Even the road to my village is no good. We don't have one big hospital in my entire local government. We did not get. Why? You see people who, who, who are, in fact, they cannot even speak English to start with. So when they never come out to communicate, is a what problem? They cannot. Please. We're not even talking about Zanfarada. Most of them feel wayek. Where which year was that? Or Katina or Sokoto. Or Yobe. I may do read a book I'm of eating so te please. Let us channel our energies to the right direction. I'm not coming out to bash north because I want to bash, but I'm coming out to specifically say that some of these things that we do are totally unnecessary, uncalled for and irrelevant. Channel your energy to the right direction. I hope this few points of mine have been able to convince you and not confuse you that minding your business pays and you will not be causing unnecessary insults on God, the prophet, Jesus, and all that. You will not be causing a religious problem. One person, because of what? Something that you would have just liked or disliked or even passed without saying a word. Mind your business. So this video is going to end. I just said to pour my emotions because I wasn't happy that everything just went from zero to hundred because of one person's dress i don't think it's reasonable i do not think that that correction whatever form of correction it was that Iowa twitter were trying to do and some other private blogs and, and, and media were trying to do i do not think that is necessary that is uncalled for it is wickedness because if reverse were to be the case i don't know what happened to you